hover your cursor over the lower side of the wall near label 1. After the 200 mm divisions appear, click on the third one from the right to place the toilet 600 mm from the wall corner. Activate the half option from the special snap points drop down list on the standard toolbar to switch back to halving the distances between intersection points. With each horizontal wall segment near labels 2 to 5, hover the cursor over the lower side of the wall and click on the special snap point that appears to place the toilet at the halving point of the toilet width. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the Basin Cabinet 1 favorite from the list. Place the two basin cabinets by clicking at labels 1 and 2. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the Basin Cabinet 2 favorite in the list. Place the two basin cabinets by clicking at labels 1 and 2. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the Urinal 1 favorite in the list. Activate the Set Special Snap Values option from the Special Snap Points drop-down list to open the Special Snap Values dialog again. Enter 4 in the Divisions field. Divisions are similar to the Half option, but they divide the element edge into the number of segments specified, which in this case is 4. Click OK to proceed. Activate the Division option from the drop-down list. Hover your cursor above the upper side of the wall near labels 1 and 2. Out of the three quarter points, click on the two side ones near the point of labels 1 and 2 to place the urinals. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the Basin 1 favorite in the list. Activate the Distance option from the Special Snap Points drop-down list. Place the basin at the second Special Snap Point along the vertical wall near Label 1 as measured from the wall corner. Activate the Next Preset view from the view map. Activate the Handicap Sign 1 favorite in the list. Click at the point of Label 1 to place the Handicap Sign. Let's continue with the creation of the tea kitchen furniture. Create all tea kitchen furniture by activating preset views from 5.2.26 through 5.2.33. Activate the favorites called for by the view map entries. Click at the points of the appearing labels to place the furniture elements. We also have some sanitary wares to place on the third floor. Create all sanitary objects by activating preset views 5.2.34 to 5.2.38. Activate the favorite called for by the view names. Click at the points of the appearing labels to place the sanitary objects. Activate the last preset view in the navigator view map. Activate the Marquee Tool in the Toolbox. Set the Single Floor Selection Method in the Info Box. Draw a Rectangular Marquee from Label 1.1 to Label 1.2. Activate the Object Tool in the Toolbox. Select Edit. Select All Objects in Marquee Command to select all objects on the current story of the project. Activate the Edit Copy command to copy all the selected elements on the clipboard. Select the Go Up a Story from the View, Navigate, Stories menu to go to the first floor. Select the Remove Marquee option from the Context menu to remove the marquee from the floor plan. Activate the Paste command from the Context menu to place all the previously selected objects to this story. Click outside the Selection Marquee to complete the operation. 
Go up to the second floor now. Activate the Paste command from the context menu to place all the previously selected objects to the second floor as well. Click outside the selection marquee to complete the operation.